anti-abortion legislation. And there are a lot here right in Detroit. It's going to be hard, but working class people are in danger and I'm not waiting until after the November midterms for my rights. They had 50 years. We must demand free, safe, and legal abortion on demand without apology now. Thank you all for being here in your show still. What an act to follow, right? <laughs> My name is Tristan Taylor, and I'm one of the co-founders of Detroit Will Breed. I'm also a member of Left Voice, a socialist organization and publication looking to participate and cover the struggles of workers and the oppressed in the United States and across the globe. And I just got a couple of things to say. The first thing is, y'all look real good out here right now, okay? And like I said, like I'm just gonna echo what Becca says. And I have to really, 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 really emphasize this. That we have to fight to maintain and make abortion truly accessible which means free and legal on demand for everyone right now. Yeah. Not until November or after November, but right now. Yeah. Now, one of the things that I wanted to bring up is a quote from King from one of the last uh, interviews that he did before he was assassinated where he talked about white moderates being the greatest obstacle to civil rights. Let me tell you why I'm saying that and what I mean by that. Right now, Dana Nessel says that she's not prepared to enforce the laws. But right now, every abortion provider is setting themselves up to shut down the moment that decision goes through. Why white people, or moderates, or political moderates, that's more than just white people, are the obstacles to civil rights? It's because too often they are not prepared to do what is necessary to win real liberation. What that means is we have to be prepared to break unjust laws. So what that means is we have to make very, very compelling arguments to those abortion right providers to make sure that they don't leave, in particular, black and Latina and other minority and working class people in the lurch. Yeah. 